Parker. Parker. Um, I want to say first off that we miss you. We're so sad that you're having to quarantine right now, but that's okay because I know you'll be back soon. Um, we can't wait for you to come back. Um, I'm here just to give you a quick video and talk about your TDA because you're not gonna because obviously you're not here with us today, and let you know what your score was and what we're gonna work on for next time when we're doing a TDA. Um, next time we're gonna work on our graphic organizer and. Um, how to better organize your TDA, which is something that I think that will be very, very helpful for you because I liked that you had in paragraph five, I like you said in the first paragraph, he had to sit on rocks and he felt paralyzed That's, and his thirst came back and um, he needed a drink. That's really good evidence to show that he was tired and that he was persistent in the fact that he was working through that. So that was great evidence and you're definitely on the right track. What we're gonna work on next time is making sure that we are organized. So again, we need that intro, body, and conclusion. Almost like before when we used to do like the, we used to do like the hamburgers, and you need to have those different parts. You need that bun on the top, that bun on the bottom, and that meat in the middle. Um, that's what we're gonna need to work on next time. And kind of that explanation as to, well, how does this show that he is persistent? How does it show when he says, um, that he had to sit on the rocks and felt paralyzed, but he kind of kept going. How does that show that he's persistent? Because again, we need to make sure that we are up here at the top of the prompt, we're writing to the prompt. And the prompt was, how did the boy show that he's persistent with that theme? So I really liked this evidence that you chose. You're definitely on the right path. And for the first, um, for your first TDA, I would say like, I, I was really impressed when people picked out good pieces of evidence because that's a core a core um, skill when it comes to doing TDA. So again, you did a great job with the evidence. Next time we're going to work on that intro body inclusion so that's nice and neatly organized and then that oh, fluff or that extra expl explaining how that, how that relates back to the prompt. So great job to begin with for your first one. Um, we miss you. And in order for me to know that you actually watched my video, you're going to number one, do the TDA checkpoint. Number two, you are going to post a seesaw, something holiday related at your house. And if you don't have any holiday decorations out or anything like that, find something, a picture on Google that you really thought was a beautiful Christmas tree or maybe a beautiful um, holiday uh, lights or sign or something of that and upload it to Seesaw. That's how I'll know that you actually watched what I, what I just explained to you. We miss you and we will see you soon.